Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with some Super Ape Cycle because, well, it's the deck that I know the most about and I've decided that I didn't record a video on it uh, for, a long t for a long time. I currently am uh, kinda uh, after a little break of uh, like actually playing, I uh, kinda sometimes uh, uh, pre-record some videos in ahead so I can like afford uh, myself a little break and I'm gonna be kinda uh, uh, re-realizing how the meta looks like uh, right now so yeah first of all we are facing a steel bait player and uh, against steel bait it's definitely a good matchup against us since we have like this fire tiny to absolutely decimate his uh, phone cake so we can just afford to rolling steel uh, our opponents uh, Bomb girl every single time, and there he goes. Fire tiny, uh, Funk X down. Uh, there's nothing he, my opponent can do, uh, like except uh, he can like just okay. He was actually playing with bullets, so that was like the one play he could do, like try to predict my uh, fire tiny with his bro. Why are you defending, bro? Uh, he could pre, uh, like predict my fire tiny with bullets, but it would be uh, hard uh, already. Uh, he also like proceeds to defend, even after throwing bullets on my Viking tower, which is like, uh, bro, if if you give up, like, uh, you might as well just throw the game. And if you're not giving up and decide to fight, why did you just uh, make it harder for yourself to throw? It? Yeah, th that's that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, you're wasting our both time. Like. Uh, I don't know if I even want to like show this game on the video because it's gonna be absolutely god awful. Like the game is already over, and you know it. This wrong still obviously will hit a bomb girl. That's a very well known interaction. Uh, my boy will still keep on fighting, which is well absolutely wrong. Uh, from certain points of view, I'm gonna play super. Eight. I'm gonna play a tank here, swordsman. And he was gonna play a missile anyway, like, he just wants to ruin my day for absolutely no reason. Uh, I'm gonna pre-rolling steal his, okay. <laughs> he didn't go for a bomb girl, but uh, there was a case, yeah. I'm gonna just cut it right here because it's getting embarrassing for my opponent, I'm gonna just jump to the game number 2. And we're in the game number 2 against a player called Dominic, which... I presume was supposed to be Dominic, but at the same time he kinda already uh, picked my curiosity, so is it that dumb? On the other hand side, he just cycled three uh, Psycho cards, he played uh, Mana Collector in the back, which yeah, I'm happy to see because I have an Earthquake and every time he plays it, it's just a plus one trade for me, I, yeah, I think it's well plus one. Uh, he's gonna go with two tinies and block this motor with gunner, which is like dream case scenario response uh, to my pressure. I'm gonna uh, predict his phones. I'm gonna play uh, rolling steel, and unfortunately, I didn't get a full counter, but I think it's good enough. Also, he's gonna try to outcycle my EQ, which is just not the case. <laughs> if he wants to play mana collectors, I'm gonna just keep. On uh, are quaking them, and uh, there's nothing he can do. Uh, let's see, he cycled uh, one card from uh, Pump. It's this Ice Tie. I'm gonna play this. He plays Swordsman, that's a second card. He's gonna play Gunner, I presume. There we go. Um, I think I'm gonna just chill a bit for a second. I'm gonna play Swordsman here, and he actually goes with a machine gun, so I'm gonna just add a Gunner to the uh, discussion so I can like get a, a fair cleanup and there he is and right now he cannot even play mana collector because I already have an EQ I'm gonna actually abandon this gunner there's nothing I can really do he's gonna play fire tiny okay ice tiny so okay he has two tinies in his deck which means he probably doesn't have a building which is well already bad thing for him he kind of compensates with phones because phones kind of don't die to uh, blitz, so it's it's kind of cool. I'm gonna play another mortar, force out something. I'm gonna play swordsman, predicting his gunner. He actually didn't fall for it, which is kind of smart. I'm gonna play right now super ape, who just pressure. And since his gunner is busy dealing with my swordsman, I'm gonna put the gunner on my own and 
uh, that's gonna be very good trade at the bridge. I'm gonna play another mortar just to kinda force out more responses. I'm gonna right now go in and I think there's absolutely no way he holds this. I'm gonna even play rolling speed because I knew Fire Tiny wouldn't make there. Uh, I'm gonna get another mortar shot which was absolutely a fluke. Uh, I'm gonna play Garo in the back. I think he won't be engaging in this bridge fight. But if he does, well, that, that's gonna be his choice, definitely. I'm gonna play Skeletons and immediately pressure with Mortar. I just want uh, him to be uh, instantly occupied at the bridge, so... Because if I win the bridge fights, he's not gonna be able to, like, uh, go with Machine Guns, because in order to go in with Machine Gun, you pretty much have to win a bridge fight first. So I'm gonna play Rolling Steel very aggressive here, but I think I have the sufficient advantage to do so. I'm gonna play Mortar. This gunner will lock to the tower. Actually, I'm gonna play EQ and uh, it wouldn't even matter because the mortar does a way over 200 damage. That's gonna be GG's. Honestly, very lucky matchup and my opponent instantly calls it, but he had 1k so he definitely like could... I mean, nah, actually that was 100 or what I'm saying. Very lucky matchup for me, let's jump to the game number 3. And we're up against, uh, once again, Dominic. we're gonna just hit him with nice play, because there's a chance, okay, he, he calls noob, so there's a, okay, he actually switched deck, so... With switch deck, we're gonna actually see what our opponent is uh, capable of, he's gonna start off very naturally, uh, with uh, countering my super ape, I'm gonna follow it up with playing a swordsman in the middle, he plays a Twins, which kinda already signifies me that I'm gonna be facing a Viking Bird Spawn player. And there it is, there's the Thief, which is very common card in Viking Bird Spams. I'm gonna play Skeletons just to, <laughs> first of all, stop the Thief, and second of all, uh, to kinda... Okay, that, that was a very bad Super 8. Uh, and second of all, to just uh, keep my Swordsman uh, for longer on my board, so like I can stack more mana to eventually build up a push, but then I played Super Aim in front and it suddenly all doesn't really matter. I'm gonna play Fire Tiny here. I would love to play Skeletons and I think I'm gonna be forced to play it like this. Force the Viking to hit that. Beautiful defense, beautiful micro defense. Basically, if you are able to get these interactions against a Viking Burson, you're uh, definitely good to go. I'm gonna play Super Ape anyway, even though he has doubles. Maybe he even gets a full counter. I'm not sure though. Yeah, that's one hit. Very cool to see. I'm gonna play Gunner and I would love to have a Swordsman immediately, but it's not the case here. So I'm gonna play Swordsman on Delay. Uh, he still has to address it, so this poison doesn't really do much for him, except like maybe he can ignore it. I wouldn't ignore it even if the goal of the bridge stomp. There we go. Even the goal of the bridge stomp player is to overwhelm you. Like you cannot like give too much uh, free damage to a uh, uh, cycle player. I'm gonna play uh, my skeletons. I, oh yeah, there. That was a very bad rolling steal. A very bad, do not try this at home, definitely. That's also a very bad gunner, but at the same time, I was kinda panicking here. Sometimes it's just good to admit it. Uh, I'm gonna actually have to clutch this defense because it's not, it's definitely not easy. I'm gonna play the swordsman here and right now I'm gonna just kite everything into my gunner. I'm gonna play the skeletons here. I'm gonna play the swordsman here. Yeah, that's gonna be a very tough defense and I I think I'm not gonna be actually holding it uh, as well as I was kinda imagining it. Uh, yeah, I kinda have to like uh, do things I wouldn't normally do. I'm gonna play the skeletons here. Uh, I'm gonna play the swordsman here and right now we are just in a clean so that was a definitely uh, a huge mistake uh, for me uh, uh, to miss the crawling still I'm gonna play earthquake and he should be playing poison there we go I'm gonna play air I mean I whatever I'm gonna play uh, this EQ, I'm gonna play Rolling Steel, I'm gonna play Gunner because he now doesn't have poison, so it's absolutely uh, beautiful. I'm gonna play Mortar anyway because it's gonna kite uh, this. Okay, he actually won't be blocking this hit, which is absolutely a huge mistake because, uh, yeah, right now I have like a free room to roam. Uh, I'm gonna play a Gunner, which is gonna beautifully clean all of these devils. Uh, I'm in a damage lead, which is. Uh, 
perfectly fine for me. Uh, now all I have to do is just not hit, not give him a perfect lineup with a piercing archer. And if I do succeed at that, I'm gonna be just a winner of the game. I'm gonna go with uh, rolling steel and earthquake just to kite, get some damage and out damage poison. And even super egg gets on tower. Beautiful stuff. We got a two out of two against Dominic. Uh, he is kind of mad at us right now, which is unsurprising because we ta we've taken 8 mails out of him and that's not a good way to start off a day as a Dominic, but yeah, that's gonna be game number 3, let's jump to the game number 4. And we are in another uh, game against Pies, I presume. Uh, if I were to pronounce in my uh, native language, it would have been a very bad word, but... Uh, okay, very cool mortar to see. <laughs> I was expecting to like shoot and uh, kill the phone horde, but apparently uh, it was just uh, being uh, still reset by the, by the ice tiny. Very bizarre interaction, to be frank. I'm gonna get a kill on this can, and I think this super egg will get like a couple of hits. There's one, there's two with rolling steel. I think it would have gotten like 3 or maybe even like very lucky 4th hit if that wasn't for a long steal. He's gonna play a missile which, let me say gunner, that's automatically a dub. <laughs> I don't think he can financially recover from this because he just invested 6 mana and yeah there we go. There's a rage quit and I think I'm gonna just leave it right here because the game is concluded. He actually left which is a... Uh, Fun surprise after the game number one where my opponent didn't uh, mean to leave at all. But yeah, I'm gonna just jump to game number five of today's video. And here we are in the fifth game of today's video against a very famous Austrian painter, which is pretty hard meme on the internet, probably even deserved. I'm gonna just try to defend his, his first nonsense. Uh, I believe I took... Uh, positive 4 trade, so basically uh, that's a free mortar. He is uh, right now equal uh, on me with mana, he plays a swordsman, which is definitely not a dumb move. Okay, that was a dumb move though, because I've allowed this necromancer to spawn an ape, but I didn't know that, so like, bear happening it early, uh, then uh, later in the game where it could have cost me like the game. I'm gonna play a uh, fire tiny just to stop this necromancer, it's a very cool interaction to know that you can stop entire necromancer with just a fire time. I'm gonna play gunner and the skeletons, probably should have played this gunner deeper so like I can preserve more health of her, but still fine, it's a 5 or 7, it's definitely a positive trade, and right now I'm gonna just do the smart thing that I usually do against these players, I'm gonna play uh, the mortar against a bomb girl. I don't even care that I got blocked by the necromancer because my goal wasn't to like get the mortar to the tower. My goal was to just stop the bomb girl and he just added more value. So it's like uh, the biggest mortar shot or that you've seen certainly in this video, maybe even in your life. But like I'm not gonna judge it. I'm gonna actually try to defend this. Uh, okay, this drunker won't reach the mortar, which is beautiful because the means mortar will. We've stand 3 hits, and this means no damage on my tower, so uh, kind of thing that I uh, expected. My opponent will be playing a Drunker rule, which is obviously a deck which bases on this very fast 9 mana uh, push at the bridge, which you kind of have to be ready against, because if you if you aren't, uh, you're gonna be sometimes in a very lot of trouble. I'm gonna play Skeletons after Necromancer lock onto the Swordsman, so my Skeletons can finish him off and don't turn into uh, apes. I'm gonna right now absolutely do not re respect his uh, push because he's just getting his uh, balloon on my tower and he's gonna get two hits, which is pretty bad, objectively. Uh, but at the same time, I'm gonna get a tower on the uh, left, so that's kind of a tower trade scenario. Usually, don't want to get into the tower trade against a drunker room players because <laughs> this is. Uh, exactly what they want, but at the same time I'm winning so hard right now that I can do whatever I want and uh, yeah. This pressure was enough so he didn't attack me at all. I'm gonna play Gunner here just for safety. He just went for a Necromancer Balloon which is not a combo, they don't synergize well. Drunker was definitely better choice here, so uh, 
that's gonna be the closing game of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Super A gameplay. I had some low quality and high quality games. You can definitely uh, learn something from them, especially this Viking bird spam because uh, first of all, you can learn some interactions from there and second of all, uh, you can kind of see the perspective of a Super A player that uh, even though that with perfect play you can always defend sometimes just forcing out mistakes will be sufficient for you to break uh, as a viking bird spam player so yeah some kind of tutorial for both sides and that's gonna be it uh, thanks you for watching till the end and uh, if you aren't already i encourage you to subscribe to my youtube channel where uh, we're gonna be posting boom arena content every single day so you might as well subscribe to not miss uh, anything and uh, like consume more boomerang content. I don't know. I'm bad at intros. Whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boomerang.